So, you've probably been hearing a lot about artificial intelligence recently. Are you as scared as I am? No? Oh, <laughs> you should be. ChatGPT. It's an AI chatbot that's been trained on the entirety of the internet. It's seen your feet pics, it knows Obama's last name, but can it beat Minecraft? This is gonna be terrifying. Alrighty, what is the first step to beating Minecraft? Minecraft is an open world sandbox game, which means there is no one proper way yeah, to beat yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah, don't be a smartass. I want you to tell me how I should beat the game. Sure, I'll do my best. What's step one? Step one, gather basic resources such as wood, stone, and food. Alright, I can do that. Okay, what kind of food do you recommend? Animals such as chickens, cows, pigs, and sheep are good options for obtaining quick nourishment. That can be arranged. Your daddy fucked with the wrong people. Stay in school, kid. What's step two? Step two. Craft basic tools such as what? a wooden pickaxe, axe, and shovel to help you gather more resources efficiently. How was I supposed to gather stone before making these tools? You can gather stone by using your fists. Can't say I'm surprised. Not a very good start, ChatGPT. Okay, what's next? Step three, build a shelter to protect yourself from monsters that spawn at night. Use blocks like dirt, wood, or stone to create a simple structure. Ah, the old green top. Home sweet home. Okay, what's step four? Step four, explore deeper caves and gather valuable resources like coal, iron, gold, and diamonds. These resources are essential for crafting better gear and surviving tougher enemies. Why am I just now realizing that ChatGPT sent me down here completely naked? Some armor would have been nice, or even even just a shield. Okay, I have some iron and some coal. I still need to find more gold and some diamonds, but for now, what's step five? Step five, use the resources you have gathered to craft better gear such as iron armor and iron tools. Oh, thank God. Still no shield though. Okay, it's time to go deeper. This is gonna end well. Okay, yep, there would be an ancient city. Oh, no, no. There are other places to mine. We don't have to mine here. Bye. Ah! Hey, diamonds. No, not you. Go away. Please be more than one. Okay, get back. Oh, shoot. Okay, you need to move. Move, move. He's gonna kill both of us. Move. Oh, no. No, 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 no. The deeper we go, the better chance we have at golden diamonds. That was my last pickaxe. No fucking way. Where even is it? No, no. My ass cheeks are clenched so fucking tight right now. Put a piece of coal in there. I'll make diamonds myself. My god. Wait, I hear rain. Yes. Oh, thank god. You do not want to know how close I was to drinking my own piss. <laughs> Honestly, I am very unimpressed with ChatGPT at the moment. I don't even know what step we're on. What's next? Step six, start farming crops and breeding animals to sustain yourself with a steady supply of food. Oh God, don't just watch. Wheat is a versatile crop that can be used to make bread and can also be fed to animals such as sheep and cows. Wheat seeds can also be fed to chickens. This makes it a useful crop to sustain both yourself and your livestock. Okay, that was a pretty good answer. It was able to recommend animals that feed off of the products of wheat farming. That's crazy. All right, what's step seven? Step seven, explore the world to find generated structures like villages, mine shafts, temples, or dungeons. These structures can contain valuable loot. Be prepared with better equipment and armor to face enemies. You can also bring a water bucket to help you navigate tricky terrain. Oh, shoot. Is it just me or is ChatGPT getting smarter the more we talk? A water bucket to navigate terrain? Is that on the wiki? Like, what? Hello there. Okay, we looted some structures. I'm tired of doing side quests. So, what's step eight? Step eight. When you feel prepared, get the required items to journey to the nether. You can either build a nether portal using obsidian blocks and flint and steel, or use a ruined nether portal by repairing it. I am not sure what the best way to do this is. Okay, it wasn't that. I ruined everything I touch. We have a portal. Let's go to the nether. Once in the nether, look for a nether fortress where blazes spawn. Defeating blazes will give you blaze rods that are needed to make eyes of ender. And they're below me. What is this, blaze badminton? Wait, is the spawner in the pillar? What? All right, let's head on down. Ah, thanks for the warm welcome. So does this mean that there are like two fortresses spawning on top of each other? I've never seen this before. Oh, no, 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 nope, nope, nope. Oh, oh, come on, go, 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 go. Oh my, leave me alone. Ouch. Okay, we have enough. Let's get out of here. Oh, no, 
Oh my gosh. Survive all that and almost die to fall damage. All right, what's next? Step nine, you will need blaze powder and ender pearls to craft eyes of ender. Ender pearls can be obtained by defeating endermen in the overworld at night or in the end dimension. Wait, does ChatGPT not know that endermen can spawn in the nether? Endermen do not spawn naturally in the nether, so you won't find them there. They only spawn in the overworld in the end dimension. Apparently I'm staring at an anomaly. Also, it didn't mention trading with piglins, so I guess we really got to do it the old fashioned way. Okay, so we can really only hunt for Enderman at night. So in the meantime, what's next? Step 10. Gear up with enchanted weapons and armor for the fight against the Ender Dragon. This will increase your chances of defeating the dragon and emerging victorious. Okay. What weapons do you recommend I bring? You will need a sword for close combat and a bow with arrows to destroy the end crystals, which heal the dragon, making it an essential tool for the fight. Another great weapon to consider is the trident, a which trident? deals great damage and can be used for powerful <laughs> ranged attacks when thrown. That is such a tangent from beating the game. Uh... Tridents can be obtained by killing drown. If you're having trouble finding enough drown, consider building a drown farm, which is a structure designed to spawn and make killing drown easy. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh. Ooh. And boom, we have a drowned farm. Fuck you, ChatGPT. Also, I cut a few corners, and so this farm only works at night. So in the meantime, what else do I need for the fight? Healing is crucial during the Ender Dragon fight. You should bring a variety of potions along with golden apples, as they provide regeneration and absorption. A beacon can also be a helpful a item to bring, as beacon? it can provide beneficial effects. Uh, such as iron blocks are a commonly used material for building a pyramid for a beacon. To obtain a lot of iron, you can mine at Y levels where iron ore is commonly found. Alternatively, you can build an iron farm for a highly efficient way to obtain obtain large amounts of iron. You shouldn't be there. First the trident, now beacon. It really has me doing all the side quests. Wait, I have to beat the wither. Okay, the iron farm is running. Let's get a trident. Okay, trident, done. And iron, also done. Okay, so before I go and die to the wither and lose all my levels, chat GPT recommended we get enchanted gear. So let's make an enchanting setup. Hey, there it is, looting three. Time for Wither Skulls. And actually, while we're in the nether, we still need gold and some stuff for potions. Quite the shopping list, ChatGPT. Just grab some of this and these. Boom, three skulls. Let's get out of here. Let's plant this. Okay, I'm pretty close to level 30. I'm gonna enchant one last time. And I guess while we're waiting, how do you recommend I fight the Wither? Of course. Nice. A beacon. Really, Chad GPT? Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. If we don't stop moving, it can't hit us. So if I just keep moving, things will be fine. Run, Mr. P, run! Okay, okay. Slowly but surely. Oh! Oh, drink the milk. Go, go, we gotta go. Why could I not have gotten a shield? Honestly, not that bad. Nether star acquired. Thanks, ChatGPT. For nothing. And there's our beacon. Hello? Oh. <laughs> this playthrough has gone completely off the rails. We're still supposed to be gathering ender pearls. I usually build one of those shelters so that endermen can't reach me, but not this time. Bring it on, you lanky bitch. Ooh! Oh, where'd he go? Oh no. Oh no. I can see it, I can see it! And finally, Eyes of Ender. And there you have it. Every last thing that ChatGPT wanted us to gather. Is it time to go to the stronghold? Step 11. It's time to locate the stronghold yes. and fight the Ender Dragon. ChatGPT, using everything you helped me get, how do you recommend I fight the Ender Dragon? Your first objective is to build the beacon in a safe location. The beacon can provide various powers, such as resistance and regeneration, that can greatly help you in the fight against the Ender Dragon. 
For your next objective, clear a large area to create a pool of water. By placing water at two adjoining edges of the large square, the water will fill the remaining area. This will create a space that enables you to move quickly using the trident with the Riptide enchantment, making it an excellent tool for evading the Ender Dragon's attacks. Additionally, the large pool will repel Endermen, which take damage if they touch the water, and will prevent fall damage upon landing. Finally, locate and destroy the end crystals. Once all the end crystals are destroyed, the Ender Dragon can no longer regenerate health, enabling you to defeat it and complete the game. Nice.